Chapter 7. The bottle, Cam thought. I should have taken it along. That would keep him quiet. Then, then Cam had an idea. She gently pushed the tip of her finger into Howie's mouth. The baby was quiet as he sucked on Cam's finger. Cam heard footsteps. One of the men was standing very close. You check the cellar, the man yelled. I'll look in here. Cam heard the man move slowly around the room. Then it was quiet. Cam wondered where the man had gone. Psst, psst. The sound came from behind. Cam was afraid to look. Psst, psst. Over here, hurry. It didn't sound like one of the thieves. Cam turned. Through the open window behind the next bookcase, she saw the head and shoulders of a policeman. He was signaling for Cam to run over and climb out. Cam held Howie tight. She ran past the open area, then squeezed into the small space between the window and the bookcase. She handed Howie to the policeman. Then she climbed out and jumped to the ground. Eric ran up and took Howie in his arms. Howie looked at the policeman, then at Eric, then back to the policeman. Then Howie started to cry. Cam smiled. Boy, am I glad he didn't do that inside. Yes, I'm sure you are, the policeman said. Another policeman ran up to them. He was carrying a megaphone. How many of them are there in there? Three. Two men and a woman. That's what your friend told us. Cam and Eric went behind one of the police cars. I'm sure glad you're all right, Eric said. I got back here as fast as I could. The policeman held the megaphone to his mouth. This is the police. The house is surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Cam looked around. The house was surrounded. She saw about 15 policemen and four other police cars parked around the house. Come out with your hands up and you won't get hurt. The back door opened. First the woman came out and then the two men. They all had their hands up. The policeman handcuffed them and led them into one of the police cars. Chapter 8. One of the policemen drove Cam, Eric, and Howie back to the shopping mall. Howie's carriage was tied to the roof of the car. You must, you must be the camera, the policeman said to Cam. Your friend told us about your amazing memory. Well, it's lucky you were in the mall, the policeman went on. Those thieves had us baffled. Mr. Parker told us there was only one thief. So, of course, we chased the only man who ran. Mr. Parker was lying on the floor. Those two old ladies were facing the wall. None of them saw the thief join up with the woman and pretend to be part of a young family out shopping. The policeman drove the car through the shopping mall parking lot. He parked in front of Parker's jewelry store. Eric's mother and sisters were waiting for them. So were the two old women. As soon as the police car stopped, Eric mother, Eric's mother ran over and opened the door. She quickly took Howie in her arms. Eric and Jennifer, it's one o'clock. Where have you been? Your mother has been worried sick, the old woman with the cane, came, cane said. These two are heroes, the policeman said, pointing to Cam and Eric. They helped us capture the gang that robbed the jewelry store. You know, the woman said with the cane. There was a nice young couple in Parker's when, when the store was robbed. I remember that cute baby they had. Well, someone should tell them the robbers have been caught. They may be worried. Nice couple, Cam yelled. Then she laughed. Eric and the policeman laughed too.